Hello everyone, this is Absar Ali. So in this video, we're gonna see how we can generate access token uh, automatically within the Postman. Okay, so if you uh, if you're new to this uh, uh, channel, please subscribe my channel. Okay, so before coming to this particular video, you need to watch my previous video where I have uh, shown how to generate uh, client ID, client secret, refresh token, and access token uh, using. So everything is. Uh, I have shown in this particular video. So you need to go to uh, my channel and you can search directly uh, this particular subject or you can also go to the link uh, given in the description, this link, and you can just go to this uh, Google API and the last video uh, here. Okay, just uh, go and click on this particular video and you can see uh, everything is being done. Okay, so yeah, that's all. Uh, you need to uh, do the prerequisite before watching this particular video well so for this particular video we'll see how we can use uh, this access token normally when you click on this using the refresh token you can uh, generate the access token which will be valid for one hour all right so yeah you can get this access token and uh, based on that access token you can call any api okay of the gmail Okay, here what I'm doing is I'm just uh, searching all the messages available using this access token, right? All right, you can see I uh, can get all the uh, S, uh, all the messages available in my Gmail or inbox. All right, so yeah, cool. So this is how we can uh, uh, use this token. Uh, only the problem here is you need to, uh, you know, generate uh, for each time. And just copy and paste it in here right once that is being uh, expired okay you need to change it so what what thing that we can do to automate this particular thing without using uh, access token from here copy and paste in uh, another uh, rest api call okay so what we can do is we can just generate this uh, token programmatically and set this token somewhere in environment variable then we can just access that variable over here and that uh, this one should work okay let's see how we can you need to go to uh, this pre request uh, script section over here okay so normally um, we can generate uh, some code we can uh, you know read this response everything uh, using this pre request script so here you can also uh, do some coding right so postman also support the coding within the postman uh, in the pre-request so here if you see a couple of things over here like a get a global variable get a variable set an environment variable uh, there are a lot of uh, options available so you need to just click on this send a request all right so this uh, this is a sample send request uh, code snippet so basically what it will do it will just uh, send a request to this particular uh, website uh, or the url and then uh, it will give us the response and then those response you can do anything you can just set up a global variable or something like that okay so for this i have already a snippet already available in my uh, github account so i'll be just uh, giving the link to this postman prescript.txt okay so yeah i'll be just providing this link in the video description so what you need to do is just uh, grab this link uh, grab this content from here and just paste it into uh, your pre-request script section once you have um, you know paste over here so you need to change your client id okay client id value so this value and the client secret values and a refresh token so this all information is available already in my previous video beginning so you need to just copy and paste or replace this all values section only okay once you do that uh, we have here pm.environment.set so here what we are doing is we are just setting the environment variable basically we are uh, getting whatever the response from this particular uh, auth token this will basically generate the token okay so whatever you can see from get access token this whatever this will do 
the same thing uh, is being done in here okay programmatically so once you get that response in here this this will give us the response then we are accessing dot dot access token okay so once you do that it will just set uh, that that token into this access token environment variable all right so this environment variable we can also set uh, into uh, into here so okay let me uh, remove this first and i'll just try to run this and we'll see what what is happening okay so currently i'm not providing any token over here okay just send okay so unauthorized because there is no token yet but you can see in the console oh something is there uh, all right you can see um okay what i'll do is just clear it and just say it again okay so you can see uh, in here there is a token okay this token is being uh, console log uh, in in my code itself so if you see here console.log token so this is the token that i'm getting from the response from that particular api call okay so this is basically is giving us the access token okay so once you get the access token we are setting in the environment variable and this environment variable we can and also this is in the console log but you won't see anything any response over here uh, because it's error unauthorized 401 so if i just replace this uh, access token using this let's see what happens so you can also see now the value already there that is the access token so if i say now you can see this is working fine right so yeah you can use this uh, way to um, you can search for messages uh, you can also do any kind of uh, rest api uh, you can uh, reuse this uh, same pre-script okay so just make sure uh, just uh, replace everything client id client secret refresh token everything okay from my previous video and you can do this okay so let's try another uh, api here in the same search uh, message api so what uh, here i'm doing is i'm searching for some uh, subject or uh, yeah title of the uh, gmail so if i go to my gmail inbox all right so what i'm trying to do is uh, maybe i'll just search for this this is a subject all right so what i do i just search for this okay so th uh, this basically is same as if i search here this is subject okay this is test subject and i can see multiple messages basically all right so if i do here uh, the same thing same response that i should be getting okay here you can see uh, how many numbers seven numbers so here also seven numbers threads okay so thread id uh, the seven number of okay so this is how you can get so if you want to get the latest one this one the first one so uh, you can pick any one of them so i'll just uh, pick this one and if you go inside that i have another so this all also i'm using the same way this access token and that is being generated in the prescript okay yeah and also i can just you know just grab this another api where you can uh, basically read the message okay i just copied the thread id from the previous response from here and just paste it here okay so this will give us the in detail uh, of that uh, inbox message okay the first one and you can then see test run summary etc etc test run summary total test run pass whatever okay so those all information you can get it in the body section 
over here in the response. Yeah, so this is how you can um, you, you you can play around with these uh, APIs, and you can also get a lot more uh, a lot more uh, REST APIs from uh, here. Okay, yeah. So that's all for this video, and bye for now.